Hi everybody, this is Brandon with GreenBagPromos.com and today we're going to talk a little bit about biodegradable products, what exactly they are, and what makes them biodegradable. <clears throat> a lot of products these days are claiming to be recyclable, biodegradable, made from recycled materials, etc. So how do we know which products are best for the environment? What do these you know these terms even mean today in this video we're gonna clarify what it means for a product or material to be biodegradable are these kind of biodegradable bags actually doing the trick uh, what does it mean for a material to be biodegradable well an item that is biodegradable is a product or material that is made from eco-friendly material that decomposes in landfills or other environments such as roadsides uh, when people litter. Now what exactly makes materials biodegradable? What are these materials made of? Uh, the first way that items can be biodegradable depends on their source. So natural materials are biodegradable because they come from different plants or other natural fibers. Plants produce a large majority of natural fibers. These kinds of materials are made from cotton or uh, jute. Cotton's the largest plant fiber, and uh, jute is the second largest in uh, manufacturing material. Animals also pr produce natural fibers. Uh, materials like wool from sheep or alpaca uh, fibers. And they, these kind of materials will also decompose naturally because they are not fabricated. The fibers are woven into a fabric, but it is fiber that is biodegradable. Some plastics are also biodegradable. These materials are manufactured, however, with a chemical base that causes a more rapid breakdown. Traditional plastics will break down in landfills, but it will take years upon years to see any results. However, it will take only a few months, uh, about two and a half, maybe three months, for most of these biodegradable plastics to decompose fully. And that all depends on the amount of heat and oxygen available. There are many ways that um, materials can biodegrade. For example, in landfills, microorganisms are actually eating, if you will, the materials. Uh, they are being broken down by enzymes, and the rate of this process depends on the heat, as we said, and the oxygen as well. Uh, the material itself is the biggest part in deciding how long it takes uh, for a biodegradable process to complete. For, for example, um, in Wikipedia lists these uh, these kind of products and how long it takes each one of these products to biodegrade. Banana peels only takes two to ten days. That's pretty good. And orange peels take about a month, where paper bags uh, about two to five months and plastic bags can take ten to twenty years to decompose. Uh, but the winner of the longest biodegradation process is diapers and aluminum cans spanning from two hundred to five hundred years. After looking at a lot of these long duration processes, it's, it's a relief to see that cotton only takes one to five months and wool takes about one to five years. So, and the biodegradable bag again takes about two to three months to decompose. So as you can see, when products that are used in bulk quantity add up, there's a potential to have a lot of full landfills, which is bad for the environment. Uh, making smart decisions about product materials will help out the environment and in a lot of cases your wallet too. A lot of biodegradable materials are about the same cost and sometimes less money than fabricated alternatives. So check out greenbagpromos.com for biodegradable materials like cotton, jute, and biodegradable plastics.